All right, in the last video, we added movement to the player, and you saw that they're able just to leave the room. So let's fix that problem. One of the events that we can add to the player is a very popular one, and it's one that saves a beginner a lot of coding, and that's the collision event. Uh, the program is going to check for whatever you ask it to check for here. So let's say player one collides with a wall. Program's now going to check for when this happens. When it happens, run whatever code you put here. Now we're going to keep the code really simple. When object one collides with a wall, we're just going to say speed equals zero, okay, which basically stops the player. Okay, we can do much more fancy stuff later, but that's good for now. And that's it. Okay, that's the collision with the wall. Now, your little challenge is going to be get player two doing everything player one's doing. And so you got player one, and you got player two. Give player two movement by choosing a couple keys. I would recommend the arrow keys that are all under keyboard left, right, up and down. And then get the player two colliding with the wall and stopping. Get player two being created with a little bit of friction. So basically you're repeating everything for player one. Get it going with player two. And then from there, we'll be able to move on to firing. Good luck.